Hey guys, so I'm getting ready for my upcoming yearly canoe trip to Algonquin Provincial Park up in Ontario and I just bought a bunch of fresh food that I'm going to dehydrate. So this year we decided to do our meals as a group for both breakfast and dinner. We thought that that'd be the most efficient way to do it since we're always together to cook those meals anyway. So to keep everything as lightweight and inexpensive as possible, we're going to be dehydrating all of our own meals this year. Uh, so I thought I'd just make a couple of quick videos and show you guys how I do that. Uh, today we're going to start with fruit. I've got some blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries here. These are great to bring on backpacking or canoe trips. Um, they dehydrate really well and they rehydrate well also. So um, you can do a lot of things with these. You can put them dry directly into trail mix. They're great that way. You can mix them into pancake mix uh, or oatmeal in the morning for breakfast or you can just rehydrate them as a side for dinner or even throw a little sugar on them and turn them into dessert. So these are great to bring. So uh, the first thing to do is wash everything off. Uh, and so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna show you how I get them prepped to go into the dehydrator. Okay. So we're going to start with the raspberries because they're the easiest. Um, I went ahead and washed these off and I'm just going to dump them out carefully onto some paper towels here to just soak up any of the last of the wetness. Get them all out. Try not to lose any. And there we go. Okay, so these are really easy. Um, all you need to do is basically stand them up on the dehydrating tray. Uh, you want to put them with the hole facing down so they look like little mountains. Uh, and what that's going to do is help the liquid that's inside to drain out of there. And then it's also going to help them uh, retain their shape. If you lay them on their side, they tend to go flat, which there's nothing wrong with that. It just doesn't rehydrate as well. Um, and they just look better if you do this. So anyway, I'm just gonna try to get as many of these arranged in there as I can. Uh, if you find any ones that are really kind of mushy like that, don't put them in. They won't rehydrate as well. So pick out the firm ones, stand those up in here, and that's all you gotta do. Well, I couldn't quite get all of them on one tray, so I'm just gonna carefully put the rest of them on this one, on the one below, and uh, go put this in the dehydrator. Okay, so go stick this with the other one and we're done with the raspberries. Okay, so I washed the strawberries and I'm just going to dump them out here on the paper towel to get any last moisture off. And then we are going to cut the tops off and then we need to slice them evenly um, so that they dry all the way through. You can cut them in half. Uh, I like to cut them into slices. I find that they dehydrate quicker that way and they seem to rehydrate a little bit better as far as not being quite as chewy. Um, the smaller pieces tend to uh, tend to do better. So I'm just going to cut these tops off here and then I'm going to show you a cool trick to slice these quickly into nice even pieces. Okay, so I got the tops all cut off of these. Um, this is also a good opportunity to take uh, any little brown spots out as well as you're going through it. Luckily, these are really in pretty good shape. So uh, as far as all these tops go, you can either throw these in your compost pile if you have one, uh, or you can potentially throw them in 
a juicer if you have one of those because it'll remove all the pulp you'll still get some juice out of it uh, and then the third thing to do would be to pick off the leaves and uh, actually eat them so anyway i'll throw those in my juicer uh, and i'm going to take all of these and then to slice these evenly uh, i picked this trick up from another youtuber you use uh, an egg slicer uh, and they actually advertise this as cutting mushrooms and strawberries as well so uh, you'll see me use this for the mushrooms when i get to veggies but uh, it is advertised for cutting strawberries. It's really simple. You just put one in just like that, close it down, and there you go. Got nice, even slices here. And I'm gonna go grab some of the dehydrator trays and start putting these right on there as I do it. Okay, so you just lay the slices out like that on the uh, dehydrator tray. Take the next one, push it down. Nice, even slices. So this is going to make this go really quickly, and uh, because you're getting nice even slices on all of these, everything's going to dehydrate uh, all at the same time. So I'm going to keep working on this and finish up these strawberries. Okay, so the egg slicer worked great. Cut all the strawberries up really quickly. And uh, all of those strawberries yielded uh, about two full trays uh, of full slices here. And then uh, what I did is all of the little end pieces uh, that get cut off and get a little bit thinner, I put those on a separate tray with uh, one of the mats here because when they dehydrate, they're gonna get really small. And on the regular grill here, they may fall through. So put those separately on a mat like that put that underneath these and this is all ready to go in the dehydrator so uh, I actually only have one more tray for the dehydrator so I'm gonna have to wait uh, to do the blueberries until tomorrow until some of this dehydrates and I can consolidate it uh, down into one tray so uh, I'll be back with the blueberries all right so I got everything put together here uh, ready to go in the dehydrator we got the raspberries all the way down there because those will dry a little bit easier they don't need uh, to be as close to the heat source and then the strawberries have a little bit more water content so those go up towards the top but then I like to put an empty tray up here on the top just to give it a little bit of air space so their strawberries aren't directly underneath the heat source which is the lid here so we put that on there and uh, you want to set it between 125 to 135 for fruits or vegetables. And plug it in. And we're going to let that run for uh, at least 8 to 10 hours. I'm going to check on it at that point uh, and then uh, decide then how much longer I want to leave it in here. Okay, so it's the next day. Uh, it's been actually almost 24 hours now. Um, the strawberries are all done. Uh, these are plenty dry. Uh, and the raspberries just needed a little bit longer. Um, they were down on the bottom, and what I should have done was about halfway through, just switch them around and put those on top and uh, move the strawberries down below. But uh, they don't need too much longer, so I'm going to get these out of here and then get the raspberries back in. But uh, it's time to bag these up. And so for that, I'm going to use the Food Saver vacuum sealer here. Um, this thing works really well for keeping stuff that you've dehydrated because uh, you want to keep the oxygen out and uh, any kind of moisture out. So uh, you can use regular Ziploc bags. If you do, uh, they're not going to last as long uh, as they would in a vacuum seal bag. And make sure that you use some of these, which are uh, just basic oxygen absorbers. Uh, I'll still throw some of these in the, the vacuum seal bags uh, once in a while. But if you're talking about keeping it for a matter of weeks like I am right now, it's not totally necessary. Um, some of this stuff could last for a year or more. And if you're going to keep it for a long period of time, you definitely want to use uh, some of those oxygen absorbers in there. So I'm going to go ahead and split this up into three or maybe even four uh, different serving bags and then seal them all up so that we can open them up throughout the week 
uh, and the ones that are still sealed up will last longer rather than opening one big bag uh, and continuing to work out of that throughout the week. So I'm gonna get that done and seal them up. Okay, so I separated into uh, three equal bags here. I just kind of eyeballed it. Um, each of these look like they'll be about a full serving for three people. Um, so that's what I went with. Uh, you could be more exact and actually weigh these on a scale if you wanted to. Um, throw one each in the bags and then seal them up. And then these are ready to go. sealed up, really lightweight, no liquid weight in there, uh, and so I'm going to trim off the edges of this and that's ready to go. Okay, so these raspberries are finally done. Uh, they took a lot longer than I thought they would. I kind of forgot that uh, raspberries actually do uh, take a significant amount of time, but these are nice and dry. They're uh, firm and kind of crispy feeling, so I'm going to go ahead and bag these up as well in the vacuum sealer. Um, separate them out into about three servings like I did the strawberries. Okay, so I get these all bagged up. Three roughly equal portions. I'll throw uh, an oxygen absorber in each one of them and seal them up. And there we have it. Three nice servings of raspberries. Put these with the strawberries, they're ready to go. All right guys, last for fruit, I'm gonna do some blueberries here. Now blueberries are tricky because like grapes, you have to pierce the outside skin of them. Um, I've heard and, and read at least of people dehydrating them without doing that. But I've also heard that it takes a really long time and they don't dehydrate very well. So ideally you wanna pierce the skin. Now, um, I've only done it one way and I'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, the three other ways that I've researched uh, of people doing it is, uh, number one is to boil them for anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes. Uh, and what that'll do is crack the skins. But uh, at least from what I read about that, um, to get them more thoroughly cracked, meaning that more of the blueberries are, are opened up, uh, you have to boil it more like two minutes, but then they kind of turn mushy and they drip through the trays in the dehydrator. So. Uh, the other option, I uh, saw a video of a woman who claimed that she could that she froze them uh, in the freezer overnight, and that helped quite a bit. Uh, I haven't tried that myself, so I can't uh, tell you anything about that. But um, the way that I've done it is to uh, pierce the skin by either cutting it or um, poking it with a knife or something. Um, the po the poking technique is just as tedious as the cutting them in half, and the cutting them in half seems to work better. It gets them um, more thoroughly dehydrated, they dry quicker, uh, and they rehydrate a little bit better. So that's what I've done with a little help from mom, who was uh, nice enough to sit down with me and cut a whole lot of blueberries. Um, I got that big old container of blueberries all cut in halves here. Uh, and so that I'm gonna lay those out in the dehydrator trays. I have the mats for the dehydrator trays. So these have a little bit smaller holes than the regular mesh that's in the trays. Um, so this is really good for smaller stuff like these. And so I'm going to spread these out over three different layers here and uh, I'll be back. Okay, so I spread them out pretty evenly among the three trays, uh, the three mats that I have for my dehydrator. And stack these up. And this is ready to go. I'm going to go put it in the other room and get it started. Okay, this is ready to go. I got my three trays of blueberries and one extra in here. One extra empty tray because you're supposed to run it with four trays in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on here. I'm gonna set it between 125 and 135, which is a normal temperature for fruits and vegetables. And go ahead and plug it in. And I will be back and let you guys know how long it took. Okay, so these blueberries are all done. It's been about 24 hours, and they are nice and dry. Definitely worked out pretty well, cutting them in half. They all dried uh, pretty evenly. Uh, they all feel about the same level of dryness, and they're all done at about the same time. 
So these are all set. I'm going to bag them up and they're ready to go. So there we go. Raspberries, strawberries, and blueberries. All dried and vacuum sealed, ready to go for the trip. Be uh, nice to put this in a bunch of different things and we have uh, good fresh fruit to bring with us on the trip. And it's nice and lightweight.